Hello everyone, this is Marlon Carter, and I would like to say good morning, or good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your area. Uh, I wanted to just read a few scriptures this morning. It is now 4.35 a.m. Uh, in Dallas, Texas, and uh, I just uh, want, want to uh, whisper a word of prayer to those that are discouraged, uh, you that are going through situations, uh, having circumstances that you you are finding hard to deal with. And uh, I just wanted to encourage you to believe and keep on trusting in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep on trusting that he is the one to give a rebirth, not from the uh, fiscal standpoint, standpoint, but uh, from the spiritual standpoint. And, uh, I want to read to you from, uh, John, John, St. John, the third chapter. And it says, there was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader who was a Pharisee. After dark, one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean, ex exclaimed Nicodemus? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus, Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. Praise God. I was reading to you uh, from the third chapter of St. John, and it's, Jesus was talking to Nicodemus, who went to him by night because he was afraid of criticism or what the Jews might. He was in fear of the Jews and what they might do because they had warned anyone that, that believes or go that way would be excommunicated. So uh, we want to let you know that Jesus was exclaiming to him or uh, explaining to him that you must be born again. And uh, Nicodemus was kind of baffled. He, he was wondering, could a man go back into his mother's womb and be born all over again? But Jesus was letting him know that you have to be born of the spirit. And all the spirit means that it's a new birth, it's a rebirth into the spiritual realm. And no man can enter into the kingdom of heaven without believing and uh, receiving Jesus Christ uh, for their rebirth into the spirit. And we know that Jesus was uh, born and he, he came for a purpose to do the things that we could not do or cannot do on this earth being in this physical realm. So we have to submit ourselves through the spiritual uh, to the spiritual realm through believing and accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And just like Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness, we also must lift up the name of Jesus Christ. We have to stand on high and proclaim his name to all the world and, and lift up the blood stained banner that Jesus is Lord, and uh, when you accept him as being Lord of your life and your spiritual life and the rebirth of your life to the spiritual realm, you are saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth, that believeth mean continue to believe that uh, uh, God raised him from the dead uh, shall have everlasting life. So we're going to pray. And uh, we just hope that you all have a good and wonderful day. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord, for just giving us a mind to accept you as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Father, we thank you, dear God, for this very day that you have blessed us to wake up to see. And Lord, we ask in you today to help those unbelievers believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And Father, we just thank you, dear God, because we believe it's nothing, there's nothing too hard for you. Any circumstance, any situation that one is going through right now, Father, we ask in for deliverance right now. Father, we ask in for uh, an encouraging heart. Encourage those that are that, uh, in doubt or falling by the wayside and, and uh, having to accept uh, teaching about you just, Jesus just being just a good man or a prophet. Help them believe that Jesus is the Savior of the world. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the very scripture that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And Lord, we ask him for that everlasting life, that eternal life to come on inside of us and recreate this old body, this old mind and, and, and help us, Lord, to become a part of the spiritual realm help us to be children of god through the holy spirit because we know that we cannot uh we cannot be transformed into that character unless it's by the spirit of god and lord we accept your spirit because we believe and we receive the spirit of the holy ghost which will transform our mind from the negative thinking to positive thinking. And we're going to lift up Jesus' name. We're going to lift up Jesus, just like Moses lifted up the serpent in uh, the wilderness. And whoever uh, looked up to the serpent, and if they were bitten by a snake, they wouldn't have died. But there were some that didn't look up, didn't believe, and they was bit by the serpent, and they died. Lord, we don't want to get bitten by that serpent and die. We want to live. And that old serpent is Satan himself. To He's trying to uh, get people to accept that this is just a fad or this is just something to say. But, Father, we want everyone to know that Jesus is alive and well. And, Father, bless everyone that's looking at this video. Bless everyone that is praying with me. Bless every pastor, every minister, every evangelist, every prophetess, everyone that's carrying your word today, even your your children all around the world, Father, that's lifting up the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, blessed throughout this day. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Thank God. Bless our families, Lord, our brothers and sisters, our, ne our nephews and nieces, and save the ones that's not saved to God. And, Lord, we thank you. Amen. Praise God. This has been Marlon Carter with God's Prayer Line with Marlon Carter, and that's me, out of Dallas, Texas. You all have a good day, a blessed day, or night. Bye-bye.